Hi everyone and thanks for joining Money Smart Mama brought to you by Motherhood and AIA Malaysia, a video series about creating healthy financial habits for you and your family. I'm your host Mahira Khan, also a mother of one and I always wonder how I can manage my finances better, especially in this time of economic uncertainty. So if you're with me here today, I'm sure that you too will benefit from this program and be on the right track to becoming a money smart mama for you and your family. Alright, so as I was researching the cost of raising a child in Malaysia, it can cost anywhere between 400,000 ringgit to over a million ringgit from the day they are born until they graduate. Think about that. <laughs> so the more I think about the figure, the more overwhelming it is to think about how we can afford our kids. But thankfully, today we have Helwa Sofni, a licensed financial planner, a very experienced mother of three, to shed some light on essential money lessons for us mamas so that we can plan and manage our finances better. Welcome to our show, Helwa. Yes. Hi, Mahira. Uh, I'm so excited to be here. We're so excited to have you on our show. And I think we have a very interesting topic on our hands today. Um, a lot of moms out there have asked questions about how we can plan our finances for our child. And as I've mentioned, the cost of raising a child isn't getting cheaper with rising inflation. So my first question for you, Helwa, is what can a money smart mama do? Um, yes, raising a child in Malaysia, it can be very costly yes. depending on your expectations. From they are young until they become independent, we parents always try hard to protect them from harm, from yes. illnesses. And we try our best to give them best education, uh, best future that we can afford. Right. Yes. So it can sound uh, a little bit uh, overwhelming and uh, as it seems daunting and it looks like very hard for us to achieve. Yes. But the good news is with right mindset and so start by starting early with some long-term planning, yes. uh, you should be able to manage your finances to reach your goals successfully. And having a sound knowledge, like for example, program like this will help us better as mother to make a better decision uh, with regard to the money. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're ready, we'll move on to the second question. Yes. Okay, so Helwa, yeah. when you talk about long-term planning, what are the ways for our money smart mama to plan for their children? So I think this is a very important question. First thing first, we need to get our priorities right, which is managing your cash flow well mm -hmm. and uh, setting up cash reserve, okay, for your emergency needs. Okay. All right. Next, you should start saving for your children. There's various instruments for you to save for your child. Okay. For example, junior saving fixed deposits and also a child saving plan. Okay, there are some also with the option to protect your child. Right. Okay, the earlier you start to save, the earlier it will be for you to reach your goals. Mm. That's the key. All right. So and choose also plan that can actually provide you with greater returns mm. as long as you can understand the associated risk to that uh, so uh, and your tolerance. Right. All right. Mm. And number 3, after saving, also consider to invest your money so that it can grow. Mm. That is very important. You mentioned about inflation earlier. Yes. All right. So that is also another uh, key important uh, point. Uh, there's various method to this, and each path has its own perks. Mm. Uh, so depending on your, I mentioned earlier, risk uh, appetite, yes, as well as your available funds in hand. Okay. Okay. So these are the three points that I think very important. Okay. Great. Very well said. Okay, so I have a question for you. Wouldn't it be great if we get to grow our money on trees? <laughs> uh, how I wish to. Uh, unfortunately, Mahira, um, our money doesn't grow on trees. But there are various ways that our money can grow, actually. Yeah. All right, so for example, when you put uh, money in a financial institution, uh, you will earn interest from the deposit that you made. Right. All right. Okay. You, uh, then the mon the more money that you deposited, meaning the more interest that you will earn. Mm, so right? greater return. Yes, because your your deposit is uh, more than more return. Right. Okay. okay. All right. So uh, the compounding interest over the time is what causes the money to grow exponentially. Mm. Uh, the longer it's been invested. Mm. All right. For example, you put a uh, hundred ringgit okay. in a, in an institution, and you can earn five percent. 
So by end of year one, you will earn five ringgit, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. So come to second year, you will earn interest over the interest that you earn from the year one just now. Mm. Meaning the interest your money earns on second year will be more than the first year because your your balance now become hundred and five ringgit. Right. Okay. And that is how uh, it works. Okay. All right. So ah. Uh, I want to share two more tips here. Very important. Please do. All right. <laughs> as many tips as you can for yeah. us, mamas. Okay. When we talk about compounding, there's these two tips. Okay. The longer you leave your saving untouched, the more your money will grow. Mm. Okay. Uh, that's why starting early is very important here. Yes. So you have the time okay. to grow. All right. To grow. Yes. <laughs> time to grow. Time. Keyword time. Second one, if you can practice uh, regular saving. I mean, like it become your consistent habit, then the compounding effect will be more magical, <laughs> more effective. All right. Even though you think that the amount is just a little, mm. but over the time, this money will grow into something that can fulfill what you need in mm. the future. Right. I think a lot of mamas, us mamas out there, especially being women, uh, we find it a bit hard, especially you know with online shopping and all that. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but savings is very important, and I think that it's important for you, like you said, even a little bit goes a long way. So it's important to start small, isn't it? Yeah. As long as you're able to save some amount of money, is it maybe every month put put away mm. a little bit of saving and then yes. let it grow. Is the key word here is like you. You you make it a habit. Make it a habit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. To start saving, mm. and once you feel okay with that, things will just flow. Yeah. Things and that's why I think it's good that you mentioned it's all about mindset as well. Yes. You said it starts with the right mindset. Yep. That okay. is true. Thank you for the tips. Yeah. Great. Okay. So moving on to our next question, Helwa. Mm. Uh, a lot of mamas out there think that they need lots of cash or extra money to start saving. So here are some polls that we did on our Instagram. So just have a look at that. All right. So let's hear what Helwa has to say. A lot of people think uh, you have to put all your income into the bank and not touching it. Yeah. While it might sound great, right? But unfortunately, we have a lot of commitments for our life, and in fact, we also have to deal with maybe unexpected expenses. Yes. Right. For example, when there's sickness or you need to fix something, etc. Mm -hmm. Right. So I understand when people start telling me uh, they don't have much to save for their children, or that is something that they cannot afford to do at that moment. Right. All right. So my advice is, you mentioned earlier, start small. Yeah. All right, and even as little as ten ringgit or even fifty ringgit, because setting too high commitment, uh, Mahira, will make your goal seems unattainable. Mm. So it's even hard to begin the first step. Right. Yeah. You see? Uh, so do something that you can motivate, easy for you to do, and just start get the ball rolling. Right. Yep. Just to get the momentum going, start yes. small. You know. Yeah, I understand it because if you have like a vision and your vision is too big, it, it becomes almost. Uh, it's very hard to attain yes. that vision, isn't it? You, you yourself will feel demotivated by that. Yeah, because you feel it so hard. Exactly, it gets so yeah. stressful. Mm -hmm. So I love that. I like how you're saying, like, start small, uh, make it a mindset, make it a goal for yourself, yes. and start small and get the ball rolling. And eventually, hopefully, you will see some returns. Yes, <laughs> that is also something that every mama has to equip them with the right knowledge. Exactly. Then we can be very smart about that. Oh, loving that. <laughs> Okay, so my next question yeah. for you is, when is the best time to start considering a child saving plan? So, for example, like my child is only one year and three months, so is that too early for me? No, Mahira, definitely no. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, what we need is time. So definitely, the answer is now. The more you have the time, the more your money can grow, and you can enjoy greater rewards later. Yeah. That's the main point of this. All right. By saving in a long-term plan, you can ensure you have sufficient funds to take care of your children, and bring them through their adulthood, and give them a good financial head start in life. You know, as parents, we want them to have a good head start, right? We always want the best for yeah. our children. 
Yeah, you're so mm. right. So it's now or never. <laughs> <laughs> it's better now. <laughs> it's better now, exactly. <laughs> okay, so I definitely should start now. So can you give me any good advice for our moms out there who are looking to start their saving journey too? Okay. My advice to all moms out there, number one, have a financial goals. Yes. All right. And starting as early as possible. That's very crucial. Number two, Mahira, we have to lead a healthy lifestyle. Okay. Okay. Because as parents, we have to take care of ourselves. Yes. And also, we have to take care of our children. So, health, uh, health is wealth. All right. And if you are healthy, it will be easier for you to reach your goals. All right. And number three, choose a good saving plan that can provide opportunity to grow your children's saving fund. Right. All right. There are some saving plan that come with option to safeguard the fund if anything unexpected happens to you and protect your child as well. And if you think that all this sounds too overwhelming, do speak to a licensed financial expert right. so that they can help you to plan based on your goals, based on your priority just now and also guide you through the process for you to be able to achieve your goals successfully. All right. You know what? I, I really want to go back to the part where you were talking about health because I think a lot of people don't associate living a healthy life, a lifestyle to finances. Like what does that have to do with one another? But it does make sense because if you yourself are healthy, you're able to take care of your family mentally and physically, yes. then you're able to achieve um, all the goals that you put set yourself out to, isn't it? Just to relate back, if you talk about goals, that is how everything glued together. Yes. Because you, you have manage your expectation mm. you know what you what you can uh, you want to achieve you start small you motivate yourself to just keep moving forward yes all right and that is where the healthy part and also the wealthy part comes hand in a hand yes isn't it? yeah yes. yeah if you're healthy um physically and mentally which is very important then anything you set yourself out to you will attain it isn't it very true okay. that's it <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Halwa, for helping us be money smart mamas. There are so many lessons that I've learned today on how to start saving, when the best time it is to save, how to see our money grow and how to kickstart. It's my pleasure. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I definitely learned a lot from you. <laughs> and a special thanks to AIA Malaysia for sponsoring this episode of Money Smart Mama. As parents, we want to support our children throughout their life journey and AIA understands this. With their new comprehensive savings and protection plan, A Life Wealth Treasure, we as parents are able to better prepare, plan and protect our children so they may live healthier, longer and better lives. We hope that you've enjoyed and learned from today's program. Stay tuned for our next episode of Money Smart Mama. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. I'm Mahira. And I'm Helwa. And this is motherhood.com.my. Bye. Bye.